Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we are going to discuss a very interesting problem. So whenever you buy some products from the e-commerce website, let's say Amazon.com, you will see if you are buying a product, you will get a recommendation that these products are bought together. If you are buying a phone, they will say, okay, with this phone, this screen guard and this phone cover is bought together, right? So they recommend you things. How they recommend? They recommend based on the user purchase history. So they will check the history that which items are purchased most together. And based on that, they will recommend the items to new users, right? So this kind of problem we are going to solve today. We are going to solve, we are going to see how we can find which products pair are, uh, people are purchasing together, right? So let's say I have this order table, okay? In this order table, so this is the question. I have order table, product ID, and this is the product table, right? It has the product names. And this is the output I need that which pairs are how many times are bought together. So pair A, B is purchased twice, right? So how it is. So if you see if the in the same order ID, these three products are bought together, which means one and two are bought together, one and three, two and three. So we have to check the pair of two products, okay? Pair of two. So there are three pairs coming from here. Again, for order ID two, right? There are three pairs coming again. For order ID 3, there is nothing, right? Only one product was there. So if you see A and B, A and B are nothing but product ID 1 and 2. So product ID 1 and 2 was bought in order 1 also, order ID 1, right? And then order ID 2 also, 1 and 2 is bought together. So that's why the, uh, the frequency, purchase frequency of pair A and B is 2. So this is what we have to calculate. And we will see now how we can do it using SQL. Hope question is clear. Okay, do do like the video if you if you liking this content and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so let's move on to the solution. This is my order table, right? So if you see, this is a good candidate for self join because I have to create pairs within the same table, right? So I have to create a pair of one with two, pair of one with three, and these pairs are in the same table. So this is a good candidate for self join. So whenever you have to do a self join, the easiest thing is run the two tables uh, together. So you will get two output and now it is easy to imagine. Just forget it is self join or whatever. You can just consider them as two tables. That's it. Okay. Now when I have to find the product pairs, I have to find within same order ID. So what I have to do, I will join these two tables based on order ID. So order ID one will be joined with these three order IDs, right? And how it will happen? It will be a Cartesian, which means order ID 1 will be joined with these three order ID 1. Again, order ID 1 will be these three. And again, order ID 1 will be joined with these three order IDs. So there will be 3 into 3, 9 rows, right? Let me run in and show it for order ID 1 and then we will proceed further. So I will do orders O1. Join orders O2 on o1 dot product under uh, sorry order id we have to join on order id right order id equal to o2 dot order underscore id right that's what i have to do i will just remove this okay and in the output what i'm going to take i'm going to take order id so order id only I, i'm filtering on order id one only okay where o1 dot order underscore id equal to 1. So for O2, it will all it will automatically get filtered because I am doing an inner join. Okay. And I will say O1 dot order ID and I will take product ID from both the tables. So O1 dot product underscore ID, right? As P1 I am taking and then O2 dot product underscore ID, uh, I am taking as P2. Okay. Now let me run this. Okay, so we got the nine record as I said, right? For order ID one, I have the nine records. So everything has been joined with everything else. So we got this one one also, one one two two, right? Let me run that again so that it is clear. Select stuff from orders. Let me run these two again. So what will happen? This row will be joined to these three rows. So one one. This is one row. 1, 2, this is 1 row, 1, 3, this is 1 row. 
so we are getting the same product id also that pair also right which is of no use so we have to remove it anyway so let's see how we can remove so we have the nine right now we have to remove this where one one is there two two is there three three is there there is no significance of it so what we can say and these product ids are not equal right so i can just simply say o1 dot product id not equal to o2 dot product so these three records will go how many records will remain six so we have six records now now within this also there is a problem there are duplicates how so two and one are there together fine but one and two are also coming because of the cartesian products so these are also kind of duplicates because we had three products for for order id one so three c2 will be three so there should be three combination also one two one three and two three right but we have six because we have duplicates coming so we have to remove these duplicates also so there there are many ways to remove these kind of duplicates but easiest way is what i can do i can put a condition and product id 1 is greater than product id 2 what will happen only one of the from the duplicates only one of the records will come so if we take this example 2 1 1 2 so 2 is greater than 1 this will come and this will not come again for 3 1 1 3 right this will come this will not come for 1 2 right and 2 1 this is done 2 3 3 2 right when i say product id 1 is greater than o2 product id p1 greater than p2 only this come this will not come so in that way duplicates will be gone so we have three records which is what we wanted and also we can remove this also because product id 1 is equal to product uh, p1 is equal to p2 in these cases so we can just remove it because this phase only filter that right because we are saying p1 is greater than p2 so we have three records now we removed that filter so this is fine now we got the all the combination for product id for order id 1 so i can remove this filter simply right now when i do this i got all the combination for product id order id 1 i got three combination for two i got three combination for order id 3 there was only one product so there are no combination which is not required so now the things are easy what i have to do i just have to do a group by on p1 p2 and get the count right so if you say 2 1 and 2 1 right this will become 1 i mean this will be grouped together count will be 2 even if you can do greater than you can do less than also it is same so what will happen 1 and 2 will come instead of 2 and 1 right it is same thing you can do anything i i just i just ran it to show you okay so what i will do now i will just remove everything order id is not required okay we need product id and count one as purchase frequency right and i just have to do group by on these two columns right if i run this i got the purchase frequency so for product one and two the purchase frequency is two and for rest everything it is one 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 now in our output if you see we want product name and the pair should be created so for getting the name i need to join with product table now here also i have to join twice because there are two two ids p1 and p2 so i will say inner join products pr1 let's say okay on pr1 dot here we have id right we have id will be joined with product id so i will say pr1 dot id equal to o1 dot product id right and similarly sorry it will come before where clause okay inner join this and then i will do a inner join again uh, here again i will say pr2 and pr2 dot id equal to o2 dot product id right and just instead of this i have to say pr1 dot name as p1 
and PR2 dot name as P2, right? Uh, it is twice. Okay, I run this now. Uh, there is a syntax error. Okay, I don't know. On it is on. Sorry for that. Uh, products dot name is invalid. Uh, 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 what is the problem? Okay, I have to put in group by, sorry, my bad. Okay. Sorry for that. Okay, so I got the pair. So A and B are purchased twice, right? So I just have to concatenate it. So what I will do, I will do, I will remove this plus and just we can concatenate and I will put a space also in between plus this. So I got this output. We can call it as pair. And we have the output A and we are purchased two times and everything else one time. Now this was the output also. Okay. I hope this is clear. I will just summarize it again. What we have done. We have joined order IDs, right? To same table on order ID and to remove duplicate. I have just put this filter. This will remove those, those combinations also where product ID are same one, one. And it will remove those uh, duplicates also where we have one and two, two, one. So which are duplicates and it will remove. And then I have just joined on product table twice and I got the output. I hope it was clear. Please share with your friends. Very important questions for product based company. Uh, do subscribe and hit the like button. Thank you. Thank you so much.